All right, let's have dinner. We're beginning the book of Joshua. And it came to be after the death of Moshe, the servant of Jehovah, that Jehovah spoke to Yehoshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moshe, saying, Moshe, my servant, is dead, so now arise, pass over this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, to the children of Israel. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads I have given you, as I have spoken to Moshe. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and the great sea toward the going down of the sun is your border. No man is going to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moshe, so I am with you. I do not fail you, nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you are to let this people inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, to guard, to do according to all that the Torah which Moshe my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it, right or left so that you act wisely wherever you go. Do not let this book of the Torah depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you guard to do according to all that it is, is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and act wisely. I have, not command, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, nor be discouraged, for Jehovah your Elohim is with you wherever you go. And Yehoshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the midst of the camp, and command the people, saying, Prepare food for yourselves, for within three days you are passing over this yarden, to go in to possess the land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving you to possess. And Yehoshua spoke to the Rei Ubenites and to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh, saying, Remember the word which Moshe, servant of Jehovah, commanded you, saying, Jehovah your Elohim is giving you rest, and he shall give you this land. Let your wives, your little ones, and your livestock stay in the land which Moshe gave you beyond the Yarden, but you shall pass before your brothers in fives, all your brave fighters, and shall help them. Until Jehovah has given your brothers rest, as unto you, so shall they also take possession of the land which Jehovah your Elohim is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession, and shall possess that which Moshe the servant of Jehovah gave you beyond the Arden toward the rising of the sun. And they answered Jehoshua, saying, All that you have commanded us we do, and wherever you send us we go. According to all that we obeyed Moshe, so we obey you. Only <coughs> let Jehovah your Elohim be with you as he was with Moshe. Whoever rebels against your mouth and does not obey your words, in all that you command him is put to death. Only be strong and courageous. And Jehoshua, son of Nun, secretly sent out two men from Shittim to spy, saying, Go to the land of Jericho. And they went and came to the house of a woman, a whore, and her name was Rahab. And they laid down there. But it was reported to the sovereign of Jericho, saying, See, men from the children of Israel have come here tonight to search out the land. And the sovereign of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the land. But the woman had taken the two men and hid them, so she said, The men came to me, but I did not know where they, where they were from. Then it came to be as the gate was being shut, when it was dark, that the men went out. I do not know where the men went. Pursue them quickly, so that you overtake them. But she had brought them up 
to the roof and hidden them with the stalks of flax which she had laid out on the roof. And the men pursued them by the way to the yard and to the fords, and they shut the gate afterwards as soon as the pursuers had gone out. And before they laid down, she came up to them on the roof. And she said to them, I know that Jehovah has given you the land, and that the fear of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away because of you. For we have heard how Jehovah dried up the waters of the Sea of Reeds for you when you came out of Mithraim, and what you did to the two sovereigns of the Amorites who were beyond the Arden, Sihon and Og, whom you put under the ban. And we heard, and when we heard, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any one because of you. For Jehovah your Elohim, he is Elohim in the heavens above and on earth beneath. And now, please, swear to me by Jehovah, since I have shown you loving commitment, that you also show loving commitment to my father's house, and shall give me a true token, <clears throat> and shall spare my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters, in all that they have, and shall deliver our lives from death. And the men said to her, Our lives for yours. And if you do not expose this matter of ours, then it shall be when Jehovah has given us the land that we shall treat you in loving commitment and truth. So she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the city wall, and she dwelt on the wall. And she said to them, Go to the mountains, lest the pursuers come upon you, and you shall hide there three days until the pursuers have returned, and afterwards go on your way. And the men said to her, We are released from this oath of yours, which you have made us swear, unless we come into the land. You bind this line of scarlet cord in the window, through which you let us down, and unless you bring your father and your mother and your brothers and all your father's household to your own home, and it shall be that any one who goes outside the doors of your house, in the street, his blood is on his own head, and we are innocent. And any one who is with you in the house, his blood is on our head, if a hand is laid on him. And if you expose this matter of ours, then we shall be released from your oath, which you made us swear. And she said, Let it be according to your words. And he sent them away, and they went. And she bound the scarlet cord in the window. So they left and came to the mountain and stayed there three days until the pursuers returned. And the pursuers sought them in all the way, but did not find them. Then the two men returned and came down from the mountain and passed over. And they came to Yehoshua, son of Nun, and related to him all that had befallen them. And they said to Yehoshua, Truly Jehovah has given all the land into our hands, and also all the inhabitants of the land have melted away because of us. And Yehoshua rose early in the morning, and they <coughs> set out from Shittim and came to the Yarden, he and all the children of Israel, and stayed there before they passed over. And it came to be after three days that the officers went into the midst of the camp. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of Jehovah your Elohim, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and follow it. Only keep a distance between you and it, about two thousand cubits by measure. Do not come near it, so that you know which way to go, for you have not passed over this way before. Then Yehoshua said to the people, Set yourselves apart, for tomorrow Jehovah is doing wonders in your midst. And Jehoshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass over before the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And Jehovah said to Jehoshua, This day I begin to make you great before the eyes of all Israel, so that they know that I am with you as I was with Moshe. 
and you command the priest who bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, stand in the Jordan. And Yehoshua said to the children of Israel, Come near, and hear the words of Jehovah your Elohim. And Yehoshua said, By this you shall know that the living Al is in your midst, and that he is certainly driving out from before you the Canaanites and the Hittites, and the Hivites and the Parasites, and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Yebusites. See, the Ark of the Covenant of the Master of all the earth is passing over before you into the Yarden. And now, take for yourselves twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one man from every tribe, and it shall be, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priest who bear the ark of Jehovah, the master of all the earth, come to rest in the waters of the Yarden, that the waters of the Yarden are cut off, and the waters that come down from upstream and stand as a heap. And it came to be when the people set out from their tents to pass over the Yarden, with the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people. And as those bearing the Ark came to the Yarden, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark dipped in the edge of the water, now the Yarden overflows all its banks during all the times of harvest, that, that the waters which came down from upstream stood still and rose in a heap very far away, at Adam, the city that is besides Sarathan, and the waters going down into the sea of the Araba, the salt sea, were completely cut off, and the people passed over opposite Jericho. And the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of Jehovah stood firm on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel passed over on dry ground until all the nation had completely passed over the Jordan. And it came to be when the entire nation had completely passed over the Jordan that Jehovah spoke to Yehoshua, saying, Take for yourselves twelve men from the people, one man from every tribe, and command them, saying, Take for yourselves twelve stones from here, out of the midst of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's feet stood firm, and you shall bring them with you and leave them in the camp in which you spend the night. And Yehoshua called the twelve men whom he had appointed from the children of Israel, one man from every tribe. And Yehoshua said to them, Pass over before the ark of Jehovah your Elohim into the midst of the Jordan, and each one of you take up a stone on his shoulder according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, so that this shall be a sign in your midst when your children ask in time to come, saying, what do these stones mean to you? Then you shall answer them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of Jehovah when it passed over the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan were cut off, and these stones shall be a remembrance to the children of Israel forever. And the children of Israel did so as Yehoshua commanded and took up twelve stones from the midst of the Jordan, as Jehovah had spoken to Yehoshua, according to the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, and took them over with them to their camp, and laid them down there. Yehoshua also set up twelve stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant stood, and they are there to this day. And the priest who bore the ark stood in the midst of the Jordan until every matter was finished that Jehovah had commanded Yehoshua to speak to the people. According to all that Moshe had commanded, Yehoshua and the people hastened and passed over. And it came to be, when all the people had completely passed over, that the ark of Jehovah and the priest passed over in the presence of the people. And the sons of Reuben and the sons of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh passed over in fives before the children of Israel, as Moshe had spoken to them. About 40,000 armed ones of the army passed over before Jehovah for battle to depart or to the desert plains of Jericho. On that day, Jehovah made Yehoshua great before the eyes of all Israel, and they feared him. 
as they had feared Moshe all the days of his life. And Jehovah spoke to Jehoshua, saying, Command the priest who bear the ark of the witness, and let them come up from the Yarden. And Jehoshua commanded the priest, saying, Come up from the Yarden. And it came to be, when the priest who bore the ark of the covenant of Jehovah had come from the midst of the Yarden, and the soles of the priest's feet touched the dry ground, that the waters of the Yarden returned to their place, and flowed over all its banks as before. And the people came up from the Yarden on the tenth day of the first new moon, and they camped in Gilgal on the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of the Yarden, Yehoshua set up in Gilgal. And he said to the children of Israel, saying, When your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What are these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, Yisrael passed over this yard and on dry land. For Jehovah your Elohim dried up the waters of the yard and before you, until you had passed over. And Jehovah your Elohim did to the sea of reeds, which he dried up before us until we had passed over. So that all the people of the earth shall know the hand of Jehovah, that it is strong, so that you shall fear Jehovah, your Elohim, forever.